Retaining learners on MOOCs is a big challenge. Figures for MOOC completion are notoriously low. Some sources put them as low as 5% of total signups. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little about some things you can do to beat these odds of losing most of your learners on your own online course. The first thing to consider is something I touched on in the last video related to meaningful targeting of learners. And I think it's worth saying again, if you do your promotion strategically, you should have quite a few people who sign up to your course because they have a genuine interest in your topic and believe your course will contribute to their personal or professional goals. In this case, you could realistically expect to retain many of them. You could describe these learners as being intrinsically motivated. Basically, as long as your course is reasonably good, chances are they will stick with it because they're interested and they want to do it. But the reality is that you'll have many learners who sign up to your course who aren't as committed and maybe they drop out along the way. Not necessarily because your course is bad, but because it's lower priority than many competing demands on their time and attention. I'd like to talk a little bit about motivation, exploring a number of ways you might consider to incentivize your learners to stay with you. And then I'll go on to talk a little about some features you might incorporate to your course design in that keeping your learners interested. I'm sure you're aware that many organizations link staff training to rewards, increased salary and other perks. These are what could be called extrinsic incentives. So it's a system of giving people rewards in exchange for doing something. It's unlikely you're going to pay people for actually doing your course, but is there any incentive you could offer your learners for completing it? If you're in an education setting with a closed group of students, could you offer bonus points that are added to their end of year grade? Or a certificate of completion? Or a digital badge of completion that they can share on their social media accounts? Or anything else? For professional learners, could you get your course recommended by the relevant professional body so that learners can gain credits for completing your course? Do you have the possibility to make your course mandatory in order to access something else? If you're charging for certification of your course, as some platforms do, could you offer free certification for the second or third course for everyone who completes the first? And by that stage, you might expect them to be confident and resilient digital learners who will continue to learn through this medium. Extrinsic incentives such as these have had a lot of success in many settings, though lots of people claim that their impact doesn't last and it's generally followed by a drop in motivation once the reward has been given. This mightn't matter to you if you're running a single course, but you might want to think about other approaches if your aim is to establish a more sustainable learner group, or if you just want to make your course more engaging and enjoyable. A lot of research has been done on this, and if you're interested in getting deeper into this area, you might be interested in doing a Google search for self-determination theory, uh, community of practice, or community of inquiry frameworks, or connectivism theory. But for now, just to say that most researchers in this area agree that online learners today want the flexibility and convenience offered by online courses, but they also want authentic courses with meaningful learning experiences and that also allow them to share their experiences and learn from their co-learners. They want to feel part of a group that shares their interest and if this is missing, they get bored. So elements you might consider to incorporate to the design of your course to increase this social element might include lightly moderated discussion forums that allow learners to connect with each other, newsletters or update bulletins that tell the story of what's happening in your MOOC, maybe even featuring a selection of learners so that your learners get a greater sense that they're part of a group and not just consuming information from their computer screens. 
you could set up course groups on Facebook or LinkedIn or other platforms so that your learners feel that they've more choice to connect with and get to know co-learners on platforms of their choice. Uh, so these are just some ideas and I'd really like to hear any any thoughts that you have on this uh, in the discussion forum later on.